Hey Scorpio, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. Figured I'd do face-to-face -to -face today. Um, I did it for Taurus, so why not do it for Scorpio? Scorpio, I gotta tell you that um, I did your reading late last night, right? And I was just so tired and I just didn't feel like I could do it justice, right? So I went to sleep with your reading on my table and I dreamt about you guys all night long. All night long, it was crazy. Crazy. Every Scorpio that I know popped up in my dreams. I'm not kidding. It was insane. So yeah, so Scorpio, this is your um, September 1st-ish reading, right? This energy can play out at any point. It doesn't matter if I box it into the first two weeks of September or not. You may find yourself before this reading has unfolded in your life. This reading may unfold for you in the month of September. You may be midway through this reading and you may be finished with this reading. It just depends on you and your personal journey. See, every one of these cards is an emotional, physical, or mental process. And it just depends on how long it takes you and whoever else is involved in the situation. It just depends on how long it takes you to process everything, right? So. For the sake of YouTube, I'm going to put September 1st through the September 15th kind of thing, but not really. It's whenever it tingles to whenever it doesn't tingle anymore. And if it doesn't tingle at all, it's not your reading, okay? Don't try to make it fit. This is a general reading for the collective sign of Scorpio. This is not your personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. And there's also going to be a link in the box below because we are going to do a full 100% complete reading. But after this reading, we're going to do an after party. We're going to do an after party that talks about whatever the major focus of this reading is, and we're going to dive into it deeper. And I think this is a some kind of a tower moment for you, and we're going to I think dig into the tower moment but I'll, I'll, once we go through this I'll tell you what the after party is going to be about for sure and there's a link in the box below where you can hit that reading as well okay so Scorpio 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 <laughs> um, you may want to check out the Taurus reading that I did last night because um, it's so so very familiar so if you're dealing with a Taurus or an earth sign somebody that has Taurus anywhere in their chart, um, you may resonate with the Taurus reading as well, okay? All right, Scorpio, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to read and I'm going to um, hold up the card so you can see what's going on, okay? All right, if you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. Join the tribe, subscribe. Um, everybody like this video if you like it, and of course, feel free to share it with anybody that you think it may help, okay? All right, if you're new to the channel, um, this is new to me. I'm not normally on camera. I'm norm it's normally just my hands and the cards that you see. So this is a new thing for me, so bear with me a little bit. It makes me a little, um, little sticky, right? Because I have to now actually pay attention to what I'm doing instead of just letting it all intuitively pour out um, into the cards and onto the camera. So, Scorpio, here we go. So you enter into this reading with the root card of the Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling your differences with somebody from the past. The Eight of Swords, in a mental state hard, in a mental state hard to the Queen of Cups about how you feel in your own personal feelings and about how you feel about this person that you'd like to reunite or reconcile with or considering reuniting and reconciling with, okay? So you start out Six of Cups, thinking about reuniting or reconciling your differences with someone from your past. In the Eight of Swords, hard, right? Now the Eight of Swords, this is a card about a self-imposed mental restriction, okay? But I'm here to tell you that Eights are about movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, success, okay? So what you're doing in this Eight of Swords energy is you are figuring things out. Now, this, this, this woman in the Eight of Swords, right, she's so consumed with the fact that she's bound and imprisoned that she can't quite get a handle on it just yet. And that's what this is about, okay? So I want to say that maybe this reuniting and reconciling right here 
was some kind of a surprise to you. Perhaps it was somebody that reached out that you haven't heard from in a minute. And um, it puts you in the Eight of Swords, right? You're like, uh, how the fuck did I just get here? Oh, this is an R-rated channel, by the way. How, did I, how the fuck did I just get here? What just happened? But the longer you sit in this Eight of Swords energy, the more you develop a plan as to how to get out of this energy, right? So as painful as it may be in the Eight of Swords energy, it's where we get shit done to figure out what our next step is going to be. Because she can't stay in this for very long. The sun's going to go down. Coyotes are going to come out. I mean, she can't stay there, right? At the moment, she's like, whoa, what just happened to me? But as the day progresses, she figures out how it is she's going to get out of this, okay? To the Queen of Cups, all about your feelings. All about your feelings. So, reuniting, reconciling, trapped in your mind, trying to figure out how you feel about within yourself and about this person that you're considering reuniting or reconciling with. To the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands, this is um, persistence, okay? This Nine of Wands right here is persistence. It's about fighting for what you want. It's about holding on and not letting go. In the reverse, it's about being defensive and hesitant, which I think you are a little bit as well. I think you're a little defensive and hesitant about um, this person from your past. And the Seven of Wands tells us that there's a challenge here. There's some kind of challenge. There's some kind of um, feeling guarded, right? Challenged and guarded on top of um, hesitant, defensive, Hesitant. I'm going to go with hesitant and defensive, okay? But this card also makes me think that this person has been around for a minute and you haven't ever just really let them go, okay? So between persistence and resilience, hesitant, defensive, challenged, and overwhelmed, okay? That's how you're feeling right now, Scorp. That's how you're feeling. Then we have the alchemist to the emperor. The alchemist tells me about manifestation, okay? Talks about manifestation, let's see, to the nine of pentacles, the high priestess, the king of wands, and the ten of wands. Okay. Okay. So manifesting. So this, this opportunity to reconcile your differences with someone from the past, okay? Um, in your head, about your feelings, in regards to the entire situation, feeling defensive, challenged, overwhelmed, and there's a, a little bit of a, of a resilience and persistence thing going on here too. The alchemist comes in, this is you, wondering if you should manifest this into your life, because the door is open for you to do so. Should you manifest this into your life, Scorpio? Well, what you feel here is the high priestess you thought that this has already come to a culmination right this has already come to a conclusion a fruition it's it's done its time it's lived its course and now it's over culmination however now you need to sit down with the high priestess for a minute you need to sit down with the high priestess and do some soul searching some introspection, okay? You need to dig into your subconscious mind and your intuition to see how it is you really feel about this reuniting or reconciling your differences with someone from your past. There's you, Scorpio. Yes, the King of Wands, this is you. I don't care that you're a water sign. You are presenting as the King of Wands in this reading. Very passionate, motivated, ambitious kind of person, okay? Very fiery. Maybe you have fire in your chart. Maybe you have Sag Leo Aries somewhere prominent in your chart. But nevertheless, for me, always, this King of Wands is half fire sign and half Scorpio, as is the Emperor for me. Okay, so anyway, there you are presenting, trying to be in your power, right? Trying to be in your finest, best, most top form to figure out what's next in this, in this process right here. To the Ten of Wands, this person from your past has been a burden and a struggle for a long time. 
Hence that nine of wands, right? Where I said there was a little bit of persistence, a little bit of en endurance, right? This person has been around for a minute and the relationship, because you have had a relationship of some kind with this person from your past, right? Or they wouldn't be re-emerging, wanting to reunite and reconcile, or you wouldn't be thinking about reuniting and reconciling. <coughs> See, I got to take a drink. You guys aren't communicating. You haven't communicated to this person in a long time. Hold on just a second. Okay. You guys don't communicate. And the ending or the, the differences that you need to reconcile have been a burden and a struggle for you ever since the end of this relationship, maybe even through the entire relationship, right? But you want accomplishment, right? You have the opportunity to put this burden and this struggle to bed. You have an opportunity to end it. And the Ace of Swords comes in on top of this and says that you have come to some absolute mental clarity about this situation. Perhaps some truth was spoken between the two of you. Perhaps you're coming to um, terms with some truth within yourself. Either way, you're coming to some absolute mental clarity about how it is that you're going to proceed in this situation. Sorry, now I have the hiccups. You guys really aren't talking, are you? <laughs> You're really not talking. Okay, here's the emperor. You, Scorpio, this is you. Coming to some absolute mental clarity with this Ace of Swords about the establishment and the structure of your life. This emperor is followed by the empress, okay? So we have the emperor to the left and the empress to the right. This is this person from the past. This is the card of Taurus. This is the card of Libra. Um, this represents abundance, beauty, um, somebody that you hold in very high esteem, okay? And we have the emperor and the empress, right? This is the, um, the power couple of the tarot, the absolute power couple of the tarot. They complement each other beautifully. This is who's on your mind. This is this person from the past. This empress is clarified by the magician again, twice in your reading, the magician, okay? Th what you're thinking about is, is manifesting, right? to the three of cups in reverse. This three of cups in reverse is a complete and total creative block. There is a blockage of creation. Like I said, you guys aren't talking. There's no, there's nothing going on between the two of you, nothing. And there hasn't been for a minute, right? There's an absolute creative block going on between the two of you. This three of cups in reverse also talks about a third party situation. So perhaps that's why there was a disconnect between the two of you in the first place. Either you went towards a third party situation or they went towards a third party situation. But either way, right now, there's a complete and total creative block between the two of you. And the Prince of Cups comes in. This Prince of Cups is you being in touch with your emotions. This is you creeping slowly forward, wondering if you can give your cup of love to this person, right? So what we have here is the Empress. This is you trying, this is the person from your past that, that, that either has offered to reconcile or that you would like to reconcile with. The Magician says, can you manifest with this person? Can you? Do you want to manifest with this person? Can you manifest with this person? There's a lot of water under the bridge here. You're not even communicating right now. Do you want to manifest? Do you want to recreate? Do you want to turn this Three of Cups from an absolute creative block into reuniting and celebration? Do you? The Prince of Cups tells me you kind of do. You kind of do. You have feelings for this person and you might, you might explore them. We'll see as the reading goes on, right? But you do have feelings for this person and you're contemplating whether you can manifest, whether you want to manifest with this Empress or not. 
second row first card. I do 15 cards, right? Because one plus five is six. Six is the number of communication and problem solving. And then all the clarifying cards on top of it. So next, cu next card out is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Again, an absolute creative block. There is nothing emotionally being created in this relationship at this time. However, the judgment card comes in. This is a decision, Scorpio. This is where this Ace of Swords, this absolute mental clarity right here, that's this right here. This card is a judgment. It's an absolution to a situation, and it is a black and white decision. Yesterday, we were this. Today, we are this. It's a rebirth. It's a decision that creates a rebirth to the seven of cups in reverse. This is diversionary tactics, okay? This is um, illusion, fantasy, and diversionary tactics. So what these two cards tell me, actually let's pull this ace of cups in here too. What these three cards tell me is that there is a creative block going on and you have made a decision right? You've made a decision to stop diversionary tactics. Diversionary tactics mean occupying your mind with anything but this person, um, dating other people so you don't have to um, come to terms or deal with your feelings about this person. Blocking this person out of your mind somehow, some way, so you don't have to deal with your feelings about what happened between you and this person or how you feel about this person. So your judgment is to have a rebirth in the situation and to stop um, diverting your focus someplace else, right? And lift the creative block. In the center of your reading, Scorpio, is the Five of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry, yeah. Five of Swords in Reverse. The Five of Swords in Reverse talks to us about an increased focus on goals, okay? It talks about dealing with past resentment and being open to change. So there is past resentment, like I said, water under the bridge. You're not even speaking right now, most likely. Water under the bridge. This is past resentment, but being open to change in the center of your reading. That means this entire reading revolves around your feelings of having some past resentment to this empress that wants to or is open to reuniting or reconciling with you. This five of swords in reverse is clarified by the two of wands, the empress in reverse, the five of swords again, and the world card. What this tells me in the center of your reading is that you have some resentment from the past, but you're open to change. Decisions and discovery progress. You're open to change. You would like to um, rediscover interaction with this person okay and potentially bring them into your future but there is some discovery that needs to go on you need some answers you need some truth you need some explanations about some things before you can decide to move into the future or not the empress in reverse again an absolute creative block right there's that empress again right an absolute creative block to the Five of Swords. This creative block for you creates a lot of tension, conflict, loss, defeat, mind games, betrayal, right? That's what happened. That's why there is a creative block with this Empress is because this happened in the past. The World card comes in on top of all of it and reiterates this five of swords in reverse in your in your reading open to change the world card is about ending a cycle of your life and moving into a new cycle of your life putting a period at the end of the page and starting a whole new chapter okay and that's that's where you're at that's what you want to do that is that is this judgment card and this ace of swords Okay, that is the mental clarity, that is the decision for the rebirth that you've made. The Sun card. 
happiness, success, vitality, you see a potential for immense happiness, immense sex, sex, huh? You very well may see an opportunity for some immense sex, right? Success, okay? You see an opportunity for some immense success in this relationship. And the death card comes in, the card of Scorpio. The death card comes in and says that there's going to be a change. There's going to be an ending to the way things were and a change in the relationship. There's going to be a transformation of this relationship. You've decided that you're going to go forward and explore this relationship. Transform it. The Nine of Cups comes in though and says, where there was once wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in this relationship with this Empress, it turned into greed and dissatisfaction, okay? Somebody, somebody made some kind of decision that was self-centered that turned everything upside down for you, Scorpio. And the sun in reverse comes in and says that um, you don't want to be overly optimistic, okay? You're very gingerly, very carefully going forward with reconciling your differences with this person from the past, but you're not overly optimistic about how things are going to turn out, being very ginger about it. Three of Pentacles comes in and says that you would like some teamwork and some collaboration with this person. Again, this Three of Pentacles hints to me of a third party situation. Um, it just does. It just hints to me of a third party situation. But now you want teamwork and collaboration, right? With this Empress. Snickers, be quiet. The Devil in Reverse to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the devil in reverse talks about releasing your limiting beliefs. That Those are beliefs that limit your personal growth. Those beliefs are the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, that this was a lost opportunity. So you are going to release your limiting beliefs that this was a lost opportunity. Okay, because all this time, and that's why you guys haven't been talking, all this time, you have just chalked it up to a lost opportunity. You've never forgotten about this person. You've never left this person in your mind or in your heart. But it's just like, eh, it's a lost opportunity. It just didn't work out. Well, you're going to release those limiting beliefs that this was a lost opportunity, okay? And you're gonna turn this Ace of Pentacles upright into the manifestation of a brand new opportunity with this person. Two of Swords comes in and talks about um, you being at a crossroads, right? You're at a crossroads in this situation. King of Swords clarifies and says that you are making a decision, right? You're, you're dotting your I's, you're crossing your T's, and you're getting ready to execute a decision in this situation. To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There has been a lot of loneliness and loss associated with this perceived lost opportunity. There's been a lot of loneliness and loss around this, um, the, the differences that you had that caused this relationship to end in the first place. Justice in reverse comes in and says there was dishonesty, right? There was an injustice. You feel there was an injustice done to you in this relationship, or perhaps Scorpio, you were the one who committed an injustice towards the Empress in this relationship. Either way, there's loneliness and loss. There's dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability, and an injustice. To the Four of Cups, you're contemplating you're contemplating this injustice and you're reevaluating because remember some truth. There's some truth right here that happened. You are reevaluating this entire situation as you prepare to execute a decision. <clears throat> 
Eight of Cups in Reverse comes in and tells us that somewhere, sometime, at some point, somebody walked away. Obviously, right? Because y'all aren't together. Obviously, somebody walked away. You or them. To the Four of Pentacles. Now you are in a feeling of great self-protection right? You are in lockdown mode. You are in super self-protective mode. And, and, and I think maybe it was the Empress that walked away because why else would you be? Well, I don't know. Maybe you walked away and you're just really feeling really self-protective because you just don't want to experience that same pain, right? That same pain. The Ace of Wands in reverse tells us that you feel weighed down by this, which creates a little bit of a lack of motivation for you. The Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands in reverse talks to us about having some some pessimism, right? Some some pessimism, which is why you have the sun in reverse, right? Not so optimistic. You do have some pessimism. You're going into this with a big old fish eye, gingerly, not going all in, but yet willing to dip your toe in and explore this a little bit. To the Queen of Pentacles, because you see this person as somebody who is um, wifey material, okay? Not that you want to run off and get married, but this person brings you security. They ground you. They're the yin to your yang. And if you are dealing with, let's see, this is the Queen of Pentacles, uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but we also have the Empress in here twice. The card of Taurus, so perhaps you're dealing with a Taurus, okay? Don't have to be. Don't have to be. But this person brings you a great sense of security and groundedness. They make you feel comfortable. They make you they, they feel like home to you. This person that that is that that you're thinking about reconciling your difference with differences with, they feel like home to you. And you miss that. And you miss them. Five of Wands comes on top of it and talks about conflict, though. Conflict, right? Conflicted about this because this caused you pain in the past. And you're just not interested in going through that again. You don't know if you can trust this person. You're just not sure what's, what's coming down the road for you. Spirit... I forgot I actually didn't finish this reading last night. But Spirit, tell me tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Yep, look. But you want to engage. You want to engage. You want to work on it. You want to gain mastery of the situation. To the Princess of Cups, this is a message of creation, right? So you are going to reach out, Scorpio, and give a message of creation to this person from your past that wants to reunite and reconcile. I mean, worst case scenario, you reconcile your differences and you go about your business, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be a big coming together, but you do have feelings for this person. You really do have feelings for this person. I feel like you love this person, right? You love this person. Yeah, look, they broke your heart in the past. They broke your heart and you're afraid that they're going to break your heart again. Yep, Princess of Pentacles in reverse. This is about um, a lack of planning, a lack of focus, right? And, and you're afraid of this Three of Swords right here because, again, third-party situation, because of um be, be, because you're not sure if they're going to stick this time or not right you're not sure if they're not going to walk away again first sign of trouble right first sign of trouble they might walk away and we have the queen of wands which is interesting to me you see this person i'm going to clarify this queen of wands before i go forward tell me about the queen of wands What's going on with this Queen of Wands right here in Scorpio's reading? Okay, so yeah, this Queen of Wands. So you see this person, this Empress, 
this Queen of Pentacles, um, as the Queen of Wands as well, right? You see them as passionate and fiery. Um, they may dabble in the occult. They may dabble in the metaphysical. Maybe they're a psychic or a tarot card reader, or there's something dark and sexy about this person, though not that tarot card readers are dark or sexy for that matter, but um, there is um, an alternative depth to this person that you are extremely attracted to. But you keep thinking about that regretful but necessary transition that happened in the relationship between the two of you. You're kind of stuck on that, Scorpio. You're kind of stuck on what happened in the past and you can't quite get over it, right? Yep. Look, the moon card, right? Fear, anxiety, subconscious mind, not being real clear, squinting through the window of life and just not really being 100% right? But this card is also about dealing with your fears, dealing with your blocked emotions, your repressed emotions, and coming to terms with some things. What else do we have here? What else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? I thought last night that I saw a tower in this reading, but there is not a tower in this reading. So the after party is not going to be about the tower moment. Seven Pentacles, okay? Lots of reflection and assessment on if an investment in this person will reap the profit and reward that you would like it to. What else? Anything else you want to say here, Spirit? Anything else? Oh, nice. The Eight of Wands. So you are going to take some action. This is a card about action, movement, swift change, and energetic push. Okay? So you, you are going to communicate with this person, Scorpio. What next, Spirit? What happens next? What's this communication about? What's this communication about? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So what you're looking at doing, Scorpio, is reaching down inner strength and courage to come to terms with the disappointment that this relationship has brought to you in the past. What else, Spirit? What else is going on for Scorpio right here? <laughs> the regretful but necessary transition. It talks about a lot of water being under the bridge, right? A lot of water being under the bridge. What else? Going into the hermit energy, doing some soul searching and some introspection to see how you're going to balance this and prioritize this desire to communicate with this person, to, at least maybe to return communication to this person. But all you can think about is being left out in the cold. Seven of Swords in Reverse talks about mental challenges. It also talks about breaking free of those mental challenges as well. Yep, being in the hangman energy, right? Processing everything, pausing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective. What else, Spirit? What else? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome of this hangman? What's the outcome of this hangman spirit? What's the outcome? What is the outcome of this hangman energy right here? Nice. Nice. So the outcome is the Prince of Swords. This is action oriented communication. You are going to to communicate with this person as represented by the eight of wands right there right you're going to communicate with this person the ten of cups in reverse says that you want to take the misalignment of values that happened between the two of you and you want to turn it into happiness and harmony and values alignment and the Eight of Wands says that you, again, second time, Eight of Wands, that you're going to communicate with this person. You're going to communicate with them. You're at least going to communicate and hash out everything that's happened in the past, right? 
hash out everything that's happened in the past, the Queen of Wands. This is the, this is, this is that person. Oh my God, look, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. So what you're going to do is you are going to reevaluate your personal beliefs and you're going to turn it into a focus on approaching this person. Again, the card of Taurus. Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles was just face up in my deck right here. You're going to, to talk to this person about communication to the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is the same Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, this Queen of Wands person. You're going to talk to them. Look, the Ace of Swords, you're going to get absolute mental clarity. Absolute mental clarity before you make any decisions about taking a new journey and a new beginning with this person. Very, very nice. Oh, there it is. Look, you guys. The, all these cards just, just kind of flopped out. So what we have is the Four of Pentacles, right? You are in self-protective mode. And you want some answers before you're going to do anything in this situation. To the Four of Wands in reverse, this is about a transition into stability with this person. The Star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal to the Two of Cups in reverse. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal to this breakup that happened in the past. Tower moment. Mm -hmm. I knew there was going to be a tower at some point. Tower moment. This is absolute epiphany, revelation, change in your life. To the chariot, taking some action to roll forward. So you're going to get some truth, Scorpio. You're going to get some truth about what happened in this relationship. You're going to get some truth about um, feelings. You're going to speak your truth. They're going to speak their truth. And y'all are going to communicate and work this out. Is this going to be a lifelong relationship? Who can say, right? Too much free will to be able to say something like that. But I can tell you that you are spiritually connected to this person because they run through your mind and through your heart all the time, right? All the time. You thought it was a lost opportunity and it's manifesting as something that you can recreate. Well, there you go, Scorpio. There you go. I think this after party is going to be about what happened between the two of you and what it is that you're going to talk about. I'm going to dive deeper into that. I'm going to dive deeper into that. What kind of time are we at? Holy shit, 37 minutes. Um, I'm going to do a super quick recap, okay? You guys can sign off now if you want to, but I'm going to do a super quick recap about this reading, okay? So, Scorpio, you enter into this reading with the Six of Cups, right? Wanting to reunite and reconcile. Throws you up in the Eight of Swords energy hard, right? You're like, what? 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 What just happened? what right what and you are thinking about um their feelings for you your feelings for them how you feel about reuniting or reconciling your differences this person has been in your energy for a long time long time you've never let go of this person they've been around for a long time you feel a bit hesitant and defensive you feel challenged and overwhelmed because this is something that you that that just wasn't possible for you thought it was over thought it was dead and gone comes in and says that you are going to manifest you're going to manifest this situation you're, you're contemplating how you're going to manifest this situation to the Nine of Pentacles because it was over. It was over. How can something that was over manifest back into your life, right? You sit down with the High Priestess. You give it a good, good think with your subconscious mind and your intuition. There is you sitting on the throne of your power as the King of Wands, doesn't matter that you're a water sign you are presenting as the king of wands right here right now this is you sitting in all of your glory all of your power trying to make sense out of what has happened here 
To the Ten of Wands, this whole relationship has been a burden and a struggle for you. To the Ace of Swords, and some truth has been spoken, either to yourself, or from this person reaching out, I kind of have a feeling this person reached out to you and spoke some truth, which changed everything for you. There you are presenting as the Emperor. Yes, I know it's the card of Aries, but this is Scorpio right here, right now in this reading, right? Sitting in your throne, vindicated that this person has spoken some truth about what went down in the past, or at least reached out. This person is the Empress, the card of Taurus, the card of Libra. You see them as the Empress, and now we have the Emperor and the Empress, right? This is a soulmate situation. They are the power couple of the, tar of the tarot. It doesn't get any higher than the Emperor and the Empress. The Alchemist comes in and says, are you going to manifest this into your life? Are you going to manifest? Look, this is powerful. This is powerful. We have the emperor to the empress with spirituality in the middle, alchemy in the middle, literal alchemy, creating something out of nothing. Blows your mind. Blows your mind. Blows your mind. There's a creative block between the two of you. Nothing's being created. You're probably not even speaking right now. But what you'd like to do is take that creative block with a hint of a third-party situation from the past, either on their side or your side, and you would like to turn that into reunion and celebration. Oh, I have a hair in my eye. Hold on, Scorpio. Got it. The Prince of Cups comes in and says that you do have feelings for this person. You are um, reconnecting with your feelings for this person based on this, this whole situation that's unfolding right here. Ace of Cups in reverse comes in and says again, you have a creative block with this person. Nothing is happening, but you're going to make a decision with the Judgment card to have a rebirth in the situation and you're going to stop employing diversionary tactics those invert those diversionary tactics being other relationships other people anything at all that you can sink yourself into so you don't have to think about this person or what happened between you five of swords in the middle of your reading talks about having a lot of resentment from the past but being open to change right being open to change, but you'd like some more information. This, this Two of Wands is about decision and discovery, okay? You would like to discover. You would like to find out more things to carry you into the future of a potential reuniting or reconciling. The Empress in Reverse, again, a complete and total creative block. You haven't spoken to this person in a while. That's why you want to rediscover them. Right? You want to rediscover them because you haven't spoken them to them for a while. There's a lot of past resentment, a lot of water under the bridge, and there is nothing being created right now. Five of Swords comes in and talks about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, mind games, right? This is what you remember from this person. The world card comes in and says you want to close this cycle out. You have an opportunity to close this out and start a brand new cycle in your life with this person. The sun card comes in and says that you see a lot of success, happiness, and vitality. Um, and the Freudian slip before was sex as well, right? I mean, maybe. The death card, absolute ending to the way things were and a transformation of this relationship, a transformation of you, a transformation of them, and a transformation of the two of you together. Nine of Cups in reverse says, where there was wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, it turned into greed, materialism, and dissatisfaction for you, Scorpio. And therefore, you're not super, super optimistic about teamwork and collaboration with this person. You're not super optimistic. You are optimistic, but you're not super optimistic. This is the second time this Sun card has been in this reading, okay? Optimistic, but not super optimistic. 
the devil in reverse says that you're going to release your limiting beliefs. Those limiting beliefs being that you thought this was a lost opportunity. By releasing those limiting beliefs, you're going to turn this from a lost opportunity into the manifestation of a new opportunity. You are at a crossroads, Scorpio. You're at a crossroads. And you need to make a decision with this King of Swords about how you're going to move forward. You're going to execute a decision about how to move forward. The Ten of Pentacles says that you want to turn this from loneliness and loss into the potential to build something strong. Justice in reverse says there was dishonesty, a lack of, of accountability. There was an injustice somehow, some way committed in this relationship between the two of you. And you would like to turn this injustice into justice, into truth, fairness, honesty, right? Four of Cups says that you're contemplating and reevaluating the entire situation because some truth was spoken. Right? Some truth was spoken. And now you're thinking about how you're going to go forward. We got half a deck here. Thinking about how you're going to go forward. Because in the past, I think this person walked away from you. Perhaps you walked away from them, but these cards tell me that they walked away from you. And now you are on lockdown. You're very, very, very self-protective and insecure. Because what if you get back together with this person and they do it again? Right? Right? But I'm going to tell you, if you are dealing with an empress, and these cards say that you are, you need to know, Scorpio, the empress is not going to tolerate anything less than the emperor, okay? They're not going to tolerate fuckboy behaviors. They're not going to tolerate lying, cheating, stealing. And if you are dealing with the Taurus, which you have the empress twice and the queen of pentacles twice, um, and the hierophant, okay? If you are dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is not going to tolerate somebody else in your life. They will not tolerate another woman, period. They just won't. I'm telling you that right now. So consider that before you go forward with all of this. Because if you have a string of women that you're talking to, FaceTiming with, Facebooking with, um, everybody all over the place all the time, because you are the king of wands in this reading, right? I mean, you are, and you are a Scorpio. Scorpios are just like, mm juicy lovely little snacks right so if you are dealing with somebody that has those earth energies like the taurus does they are not going to tolerate somebody else in your life so word to that ace of wands in reverse talks about feeling weighed down right just weighed down about taking any kind of inspired action because of what happened in the past the princess of wands talks to us about being pessimistic okay talks to us about being pessimistic and about there not being any creation in this relationship with this queen of pentacles right this person makes you feel secure they're home to you they feel like you've been there forever and you love this person Five of Wands says you're real conflicted about it, though. Real conflicted. Very conflicted because you don't want your heart broke again. Eight of Pentacles tells me that you do want to engage. You want to engage. You want to work on it. You want to gain mastery of this situation. And you are going to send out a message of a creative new beginning. Hold on. Yep, you're afraid of the broken heart. You're afraid that they're going to hurt you like they did in the past. Princess of Pentacles in reverse again oh, talks about a lack of progress, right? A lack of progress, short-term planning. You, this is the energy of somebody not sticking around. You're afraid that they're not going to stick around. This Queen of Wands right here represents them as well. This Queen of Wands, this is like the Empress the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands all wrapped up into one, right? You see this person as a bell ringer, right? You, you are extremely attracted to this person. And I want to say that there is a, a, a deeper, darker side to this person that really is really, really attractive to you. Six of Swords, though, to the Moon card, right? 
all you can think about is what happened in the past. That's all you can think about. The, what happened in the past, the pain that happened in the past is more significant than what could possibly be created in this relationship to you. Seven of Pentacles says that after a lot of reflection and assessment, you um, are going to have an energetic shift in this situation. You're going to have an energetic shift. You're going to pull on a lot of inner strength and a lot of courage because there is so much disappointment and regret from the past. There's so much water under the bridge. There's so much disappointment that you really, really, really need to pull on some inner strength and some courage. And you're going to sit down in the hermit energy and you're going to do some soul searching and some, some, you're going to seek some inner guidance in this whole situation right here to the two of pentacles to gain balance to gain some balance about being left out in the cold last time. Seven of Swords says that this is a lot of mental challenge for you. You're having a hard time dealing with what happened in the past. Hangman Energy says that you're going to pause. You're going to process. You're going to surrender to what is, and you're going to come out on the other side with a new perspective. That perspective is the Prince of Swords, okay? The perspective that you're coming out with is that you are going to communicate with this person, but it's not going to be Prince of Cups communication. It's Prince of Swords communication. It's sharp. It's pointed. It's not warm and fuzzy. You want the information. You want the brass tax of the situation. You don't want fluff. You want to know what the hell's going on and why it happened in the past. You want to take the misalignment of values that broke this relationship in the first place and you want to turn it into happiness, harmony, values alignment. Eight of Wands again. You are going to communicate. You're going to put forward an energetic shift to this sexy ass queen of wands right here. Hierophant comes in and says you're going to you're going to to the devil card again. You're going to evaluate what your personal beliefs are and you're going to release limiting beliefs, right? Releasing those limiting beliefs turns this into a card of commitment, also the card of Taurus. Chariot says you're going to roll on forward you're going to roll forward hard in this situation. And it is a tower moment. It is an absolute tower moment. Upheaval, chaos, revelation, awakening, the whole damn thing. It is a huge tower moment in your life. Because you are going to take what was broken in a Two of Cups relationship. And you want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal to sew this back together again. It also tells me about a spiritual connection and a spiritual enlightenment that is happening here. The Four of Wands in reverse, this talks about a transition, right? A transition into stability and security despite your insecurity. And you really, 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 really are going to get, you, you want answers before you can let go of this lockdown mentality. Before you take a new beginning and a new journey. And you get that with the Ace of Swords. You get truth, you get clarity, you get absolute mental breakthroughs about this Queen of Pentacles. Hmm? There you go, Scorpio. That is your reading. Uh, click on the link in the box below to come to the after party because we're going to explore this relationship um, a lot more, okay? There you go, my friends. Namaste. All right, Scorpio, that was amazing. If you would like to follow me over to the after party where we will be discussing at length this empress that is in your life or this empress that you would like to have in your life, Scorpio. If you would like to know all about the empress, who she is, how she feels about you, and most importantly, if she's going to hurt you again, follow me on over to the after party with the link in the box below. Namaste.